Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel for yet another week of watching me run around in the desert like a crazy person. <laughs> Last week I showed you guys how I use my FG Cruiser to tow my portable sewer tank so I don't need to move my RV to dump. My FJ is super useful, so this week I'm going to show you how he does laundry. <laughs> The laundry detergent I'm using here is plant-based and it is made specifically for me to be able to pour my gray water out on the ground when I'm done. I didn't have enough, that's why I added some more and I also needed some more water. It is the desert, things dry out pretty quick. So I did that and then I used my plunger. If you've seen my video showing how I do laundry inside the RV, then you probably already recognize my plunger. Um, I don't use it inside a bathroom. Uh, RV toilets don't even really have room for a plunger. So that is specifically for doing laundry. Um, sometimes I just don't really feel like plunging. <laughs> So I'll just wash each item by hand, go through all the dirty bits, and throw that all in the bucket. Once I finish my outdoor wash cycle, my next order of business is rinsing. At my feet, I have my plant-based fabric softener, so I can also pour my gray water out when I use that. I let that sit for a while, and when I do, because it's flower-scented, I tend to attract some bees. Rinsing is pretty much the same as washing, so there's really no reason to show any footage of that. I rinse the clothes, I squeeze them out, I throw them in the bucket, and then I bring them to the FJ where I have this small uh, spin dryer sitting in the back, and I just toss all my clothes inside. Here it is from a different angle, and yes, that is the amazing view of Valley of Fire in the background. Sadly, my RV is blocking a part of it, but you get the idea. I have to put this cover in so that the clothes doesn't start flying around and get stuck in the sides because those are really hard to get to if that happens. And you also have to make sure you level the clothes or this will start moving around really violently when it starts to spin. I then open the driver's side, don't mind my camping mess, start the engine, and then I turn my 400 watt inverter on. The spin dryer is now plugged in. You can see I flip the lever and then I hold on to the spin dryer for a little just to make sure that everything is level and it doesn't go flying all over the place. It seems to be pretty fine, so I readjust it, set the container under it properly, and that's how I spin dry my clothes. And you can see on the right side, that's where it's plugged in. I used my FJ at that camping spot because I didn't have electric plugins, but then when I moved to a different spot at Valley of Fire with electricity, I just plugged it into my RV. While I was waiting on the laundry to finish drying, which takes about two to five minutes, I think. I heard a commotion outside, so I went to see what was going on, and my neighbors were really fascinated with these bighorn sheep that were passing uh, not too far behind their RV. So that was a lovely experience to have while waiting on my clothes to partially dry. I finally remembered I was doing laundry so I put the clothes in my collapsible bucket and brought them inside. I then set my line up which is a pretty easy process. I bought this device on Amazon for I think about 10 or 15 bucks. I get my line up, check that it's dirty enough and then I pin out my clothes. And believe it or not that is all it takes for me to have clean clothes while camping. Next week, 
I'll share my trip from Valley of Fire State Park to Sand Hollow State Park where I spent the night before continuing on to Colorado. See you next Friday. Bye.